All right, here it is. The very last chapter of Noggin by John Corwayley. And it's epilogue, one month later. And I just want to announce that this is actually the first chapter when it says one month later that's actually not the the name of... That, that actually isn't part of the last sentence of the previous chapter. It's actually original. So, here it is. The last two pages of the book. Epilogue, one month later. Okay. I said aloud to myself, one game and then home. I feel a rush of cold air from the AC as I step inside, and even though I knew it's not there, I look to that same spot up front. No one's dancing this time. There's just the chaotic pulsating of blue and green and yellow lights accompanying the loud music. Oh, he's gonna play that dancing game. I think about stepping up to do it and seeing what happens. Maybe testing out Jeremy's moves. But then I just laugh and walk past. That's not why I'm here. I've got a token in my hand. One token for one game. Found it in the pocket of my blue jeans this morning at Dad's place. A pair of jeans that haven't been worn in five years. So now I'm here. And why shouldn't I be? It's a Saturday in March. And yesterday, I became the first 22-year-old to turn 17. I can already hear the beeps and buzzes as I step through the purple curtains. It's weird how you can go years and years without hearing them, and then as soon as you do, as soon as the familiar tones reach your ears, you feel everything. Every awful moment and every great moment in your life. So fast and so heavy that you aren't too sure you can keep moving. But then you do. I let the token slide out of my hand, and the screen wakes up and shines a bright glow onto my face. Hello again, I say. The music gets louder and louder, and those words are flashing like they have a million times before, telling me what I should do. So I grab the joystick, take a deep breath, I nod my head, and I press start. And that is the end of the book. And I hope you really liked it. Because, um, I've read better. Like, for example, I read The Impossible Knife of Memory by Laurie Hulls Anderson uh, during the summer, and even though I wasn't a huge fan of that book either, I liked it better than uh, Noggin. Well, actually, I don't know. After just finishing this book, I might... I don't know which book I like better out of those two. All I know is that the action... is that the head of the action figure on the front cover of the book that I have looks pretty similar to my brother, actually, and it's kind of creepy. I just wanted to point that out. So, um, I also, I want to point out that, uh, me reading books isn't going to be, like, a consistent thing on my channel. I'm eventually just going to stop doing it altogether, but while I'm in school and stuff, I'm probably just going to be doing this when I can't find an audiobook of a book on YouTube. So, I've been doing it myself. So I just want to point that out. Also, I want to thank you for um, listening to my audiobook and stuff. Also, I'm, I apologize about chapter 33 because I got I got pretty quiet during that chapter because it got kind of dramatic. So uh, I'll uh, I hope you watch more of my uh, YouTube channel. I hope you um, I hope you watch some of my YouTube poops and stuff. I may I may I usually make YouTube poop videos. I've made a lot. I'm gonna. So, I, I've been making um, Hilda YouTube poops of that Netflix original series Hilda. So, make sure to check those out too. Also, also I might be making another audiobook sometime soon. But I, just, again, I'm not gonna be doing it consistently. I'm I'm eventually just gonna stop doing the audiobooks altogether. Probably will, like when I'm like out of school and stuff. So, um, in the meantime, just. Subscribe, leave a like, do what you want. Also, don't please don't dislike my video, but you're probably going to if you're just that kind of person. So, uh, so uh, you can tell me what you thought about the book and stuff. So, um, I'll uh, I'll see you in future videos. Goodbye.